this uh, membrane is a ferroelectric membrane, so it's, it was developed to uh, solve a critical problem in battery industry, which is called dendritic cross. Our uh, membrane as battery separator can uh, spontaneously surprise the dendritic growth and bring better uh, battery performance and stability to the novel batteries, battery performance and stability is always what the industry wants. I think as the battery technology evolves, I think this technology probably will be more relevant or more significant um, for, the, for the battery development. In, in general, the battery has three components. So the cathode, the anode, and the membrane three pieces. So one natural thing that occurs uh, in the battery pro uh, charging process or this discharging process is the non-uniformity for the iron to go onto the electrical surface. So that will create the roughness on the surface. So that's something called dendrite formation. Uh, so this dendrite is dangerous and wants it to grow too fast and will penetrate it through the membrane and will eventually reach the other side. So the short of the battery and either create some explosion, uh, explosion or um, reduce the capacity for the battery and lower the uh, cycling lifetime. So that's a key um, challenge we are trying to address using our technology to minimize the formation of the dendrite. So in this technology, we leverage this piezoelectric property and use it in the battery charging process. So we make this piezoelectric material as a porous membrane and use it to replace the normal membrane that people usually use in a, in a battery. So this membrane now is a piezoelectric, which means if the, the membrane is pushed by certain force, it will generate a local potential at the spot where it, it, was, it is pushed. So once the dendrite pushes the membrane, the membrane will develop local electric local potential at the spot where the dendrite pushes it. And if we can control, if we can control the polarization and make the potential against the potential on the dendrite surface, so it will prevent the iron to come towards the tip uh, on the dendrite. So then we'll come we'll reverse the selectivity, the natural selectivity for the iron to go in through, to go in towards the surface. We don't need to apply additional control and it will make the surface become smooth by itself, but through the natural charging process. So uh, in, in addition to prevent or to minimize the danger of formation, uh, another important function that it, this membrane can introduce is to make the surface smooth again. Once we apply our technology, our, our membrane, so we make the dendrite growth spot becomes a slower spot, a slow growth spot, and the flat area becomes a faster spot. So you can see once it's developed and then the flat area will catch up so the dendrite disappears. I'm actually working on the commercialization of this uh, membrane for novel uh, battery separators. Just doing the uh, customer discovery and the market validation at this phase, we are also developing a prototype for this product. So we want to distribute them to our potential customers and to see what they think about this product. We want to show our technology can be applied to different membranes, particularly for the most current uh, state-of-the-art membrane, uh, the battery technology, like um, um, lithium metal battery or uh, zinc metal battery, so this kind of uh, more advanced battery systems. Now we are just like uh, doing customer discovery, but after my graduation, we probably do uh, form a startup and start with, like doing the real commercialization job. Hi. I'm Michael Carey, Licensing Manager with Wharf. If you like what you heard and want more information, use the information on the screen or in the description below to get in touch with us. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos from Wharf.